$350 motor ended up making its way into Big Red here. And um, that's the one that I did nothing to because, you know, I didn't really have time. I probably should have. But, hey, it ran, so I threw it in this truck, and um, pretty sure it's pretty worn out. So, two things. One, it cranks up, it cranks really fast, faster than I've ever seen. So maybe that's lower compression. It also ticks quite a bit. What's interesting is, when it first started up, I don't really notice it. As it gets um, over the next 30 seconds or so, as it smooths out and probably gets oil pressure, starts to do that knock, 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 knock. Um, I pulled both valve covers to make sure that there wasn't anything um, weird. But it sure sounds like. Definite uh, puff there. So I got a light load on today. Just about ready to go head home. And when we take off, we buckle up here. Safety first. <laughs> My tack doesn't work, by the way. Power is good, but it's definitely that tick. I'm going to jump onto the highway here as soon as I get a nice clear spot, because I don't like jumping in front of people. That's doing okay. But man, it doesn't I don't know, especially at idle, it sounds horrible. Not sure whether that's a, uh, I'm hoping, I'm thinking it might be a lifter or something, but I'm not sure why. Like I said, check the push rods, check the rockers, everything looks, and there's that ticket, full tick. Anyway, check the rockers, check the push rods, everything looks fine. Nothing, everything's got oil to it, but, so either a, either a lifter's like overextending or something and knocking against the piston or the rod knock or I don't know. But it does it even when you're decelerating with the, uh, with the, uh, the key off so there's no fuel to it. So that makes it not a fuel knock. Anyway. Like the warmer it gets the uh, worse it sounds. Knock, 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 knock. 